Now, a lot of you guys may know Heath and I as shoe cobblers, but when we're not repairing shoes, we own a couple of companies called Southern Polished and Southern Polished Boutique. We make men's and women's flip-flops and sandals, and they are made here in the United States of America in this location. Now, a couple of months ago, we reached out to a really good friend of ours named Brittany Tarico. She lives right here in this area, and she also lives down in Florida where she owns a charter company. She's also big on Instagram and YouTube under her name. And we figured, hey, you know what? If you're down in Florida as much as you are, you need a really good pair of flip-flops, and what better place to come than here to Southern Polish. So today we are going to behind the scenes of our shoot with her from a couple of months ago. We'll take you through the process of customizing her pair of flip-flops. And at the very end of this video, we're gonna see how have they held up so far. And there's also gonna be a really good discount code to our shop for all of you folks. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that information. But for now, let's get to our time with Brittany. All right, we are, we've got your pattern down, so we're just gonna get a, so we know where to stick and the logo is gonna be in the middle. Okay. We're just gonna give a rough trace onto the bottom of the leather and then we can start sticking. Yeah. Look at that. And then we'll trim all that excess off. Very cool. Oh, I can't tell where. Oh, there it is. Imagine doing a pair every day though by hand, so machines definitely. When we first started off, it was we, all by we, hand. Uh, it, we would roll it out on the floor. We and had just a go small little it. shop, and we didn't even have enough room for a desk like this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is our ventilation table, and normally there's a loud machine that sucks mm -hmm. out the fumes because, you know, when we have lots of flip flops out here, you, you know, you don't want to get too high on, right. on fumes. Okay. So, but uh, we won't turn it on, we just have your pair today. So, okay. what we're going to do is we, we want to get a couple of coats of good glue on the leather uppers, okay. and we want to get a couple of coats of good glue on the midsoles. And uh, then once we let that glue set up for a few minutes, it'll start to harden up a little bit. And then when you finally stick it together, it has a really good bond to it. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now. Cool. You up for some glue? Yeah, okay. of course. Okay, all right. So this is the glue that we use here. And I'll do one, just kind of show you, and then, okay. and then we can do the other one. Sounds good. So you don't want it to get too thick on there. You want to have like pretty thin coats. Okay. Kind of like that. Just want to make sure you get all over it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's a real it is thin. Strong. <laughs> yeah, it's very strong. I think I got it all. You got it. It right. almost looks like you missed it when it dries. Yeah, it's very translucent. Bit. So yeah, and then so that'll that'll be good. You can already see, you know, that one is starting. Mm -hmm. it almost looks like it's already dry. I got you. Um, so we'll let these dry for just a couple minutes, and then we'll go back and put another good coat. Okay. And then we'll do the same. And then we'll stick them. Okay. It's uh, see, it's a little tacky now, but it's not too wet, so it's a good time to stick. And you have to kind of have to make sure it's right on. So I'll go ahead and put the upper onto the midsole. Brit. Oh, look at it. Custom. Custom. Straight up custom. All right, now we will. 
we'll go put these on the clicker press to make sure they get a good seal on there. Alright, so we do our straps out of the same, well you can, we've got a couple of two-tones that you can choose from, but um, it's the same new buck or full grain leather and we use a double stitch, it's a bonded nylon and then the core of it is a nylon webbing that's got a very, very high tensile strength. So, and then we put an extra piece, once we put the toe piece in, we do a box stitch and then we put our signature uh, piece with our logo over and it just protects the stitches underneath that so it's 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 made to last we're going to just punch the slots for the straps and then the toe hole so we'll want to line this thing up right on the outside okay. of this and, and then you hold, hold it that. all right and you do the other part yeah then I'll, okay It's kind of what we did a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a little on this side. And then make sure you get the coat that side of the ribbon. There you go. So we usually use last on most of our flip-flops just to make sure that we're getting straps and everything the way we need it. And then we'll just go down and we pull these. And the last is the fake foot. The last is the fake foot that is, yeah, engineered. We had them custom fit to be exact sizes of like what a woman's foot on average would be. So this is like an 8B, which is an uh, average size lady's foot. And then I'm just using this so I know where to pull the strap to. And then since we're custom customizing these for you before we do the final strap, we'll have you put them on Sweet. and um, customize the word you want. Cool. You can just make them symmetrical, but you know, if you're gonna have them custom, have them lift up. Might as well get it made exactly the way you want it. And then. That feels good. Does that feel the same or tighter or what? It's a little bit more snug. A little bit more? Which one's more snug? This side. This side? Yeah, this side's okay. a little bit more snug. Let me pull, lift up just a smidge. There you go, what about that? Oh, that's good. Better? Yep. Okay. We're gluing the arch supports on now. It was a very meticulous process. It is when they're, when they're custom. Yeah. Look at the width on them bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's funny. <laughs> They're pretty wide. Good coat. Okay. And then we're going to put another one probably after that. So one good thick coat. Andrew's father is 
Okay, so we have your flip-flops ready to go, and we did a little, again, it was a customization job because we don't currently make ladies' flip-flops. Uh, put the logo on this side, and then you wanted your, your name in short, Britt, there on that one. And uh, yeah, they're ready to go. So you ready to try them on? Yes, I'm excited. Okay, well, right. let's, let's try them on. Already feeling great. Look at that. Perfect fit. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. Glad they fit. We were uh, we're excited to be able to, to work with you and finally do this video and make a pair for you. Hi, it is Brittany from Hook Charters in Destin, Florida. And not that long ago, I was able to make my own pair of Southern Polish flip flops. And by far, these are the best flip flops. I've ever worn and I have been a Florida girl all my life and I've had tons of flip-flops but by far these are the best literally wear them every single day fishing beach pool just walking through my house um, definitely recommend you to get a pair these are actually very custom but I'm special so I appreciate Southern Polished these are great and I'll be getting more pairs for sure